Okay, okay, girls, come on. Here we go. Oh my goodness, we're, Let's oh go. My goodness, we're actually right Goodbye, in. Los Angeles. Oh. We're on a mission to discover. Oh my goodness, we're in the caravan. We're on the road, everyone. We're on the road. This is it. The, the adventure begins. Are you excited, girls? Yeah, we're on the bus going round and round. Round, 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 round. Good one, Keith. You've arrived at your destination. We've arrived at our destination, it says. Where is it? Yeah, Evo. Evo. Is this where Evo, we go? Yeah. Emerald Village Observatory. Big fat chickens. Yeah, oh my goodness. So good to meet you, Campo. Thank you. Lovely to meet you. I'm Katie. Thank Lovely you. to meet you. Thank you for bearing with us. Yes, <laughs> 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 Just be kind to him, yeah? Just give him a nice stroke and a pat on the head. He's so lovely. Hello team. Hi everybody. We're here in our next meeting. And we're doing updates. We are. Um, so behind us at the moment, they are having a land day today. So that's where the whole community comes together and helps build stuff and do stuff on site. So we arrived and they've had this retreat week weekend in their diary for and we just, they just said you can come and join it because you'll learn loads from it. And they've been so welcoming and mm. so inclusive. There's not been any like, oh, we're just going to have a little meeting about whether the Campbells can do this or the Campbells can do that. It's like, you're in, you just do what you want, you're just part of it. And we were discussing about whether it's because they're, it's a smaller community, you know, there's like what, six families. Six um, families and, and lots of and like little of tiny, yeah, what they call tiny houses. Which um, are actually even smaller than our van. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, um, where one, where one, basically there's three of those where single people live. But um, yeah, I mean, I've laughed so much already. Yeah. I feel like we've shared so many personal stories already. Like these, yeah, they do, they're definitely most welcoming, I think. Yeah, and also it's been really revealing in terms of the what they call the excruciating joy of community life so it is hard right and this retreat is all about that it's all about processing how everyone gets on with each other and any problems there are ironing all that stuff out and it's just been an amazing process to to watch and i think for us gives us real insight as to what we've got coming if we decide that we're ever going to do create our own intentional community right yeah definitely um so anyway we just thought we'd give you an update um life is good actually there's our camper behind us so we're kids right in and amongst it kids are on the swing over there it's a beautiful spot here we're really enjoying it and um i think it's going to be a really interesting and fulfilling couple of weeks so that was the weekend sunshine, happiness, um, all the sort of novelty of being in a new community. Now we are settling into camper van life, homeschool, rain, hail, cold. It's been, it's been an interesting few days, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's been really fun. I've really enjoyed it, but there have been times where I'm like, I wanna go home now. <laughs> yeah. Just because, you know, I don't really, but just because just trying to find a way of, you know, just find everything gets thrown up when we go somewhere new or live somewhere different. And then as soon as we have a couple of days, we, we work out where we are and what, what's going on. Yeah. Um, this camper van's falling apart already. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that um, a couple of things, the temperature has been really cold at night. Yeah, um, they've even been surprised at how cold it's been yeah. here. So. So it's not um, just me moaning. we borrowed a couple of electric blankets, which have done the job yeah. um, pretty well. Um, the other thing I think that you're getting to grips with, and me to a certain extent, is um, trying to keep the camper in decent shape. Like we've watched videos about camper van life, and the key is being super organised. Yeah. But that is inevitably a real challenge with three small kids. Um, 
perhaps more and more, aren't you? Or just everything has to have a home, and everything it has to get put back. Well, it's like the same in normal houses, but. I think you may have just learned that now, haven't you? Yeah, but it's more extreme here, <laughs> right? Because in a normal house, you can oh. you can maybe have a, a space that you can kind of dump stuff, but you, there is no space for that here. So that is definitely a challenge. There's a little bit of a dose of reality, basically. Um, and have you found that? Yeah, it's been pretty hard to adjust. We, we packed for... Um, everyone had a few bits for the cold and a few bits for the warm. So we're, you know, we're kind of struggling a little bit now. We've only got a few bits. I needed a coat, for example, because I didn't have a packable coat at home. Mine were all really huge, big things because I get so cold. Um, so I've got that now. I've got boots coming. The girls have got socks coming. It's just that sort of thing because, you know, you only you only have bad weather if you are unprepared for bad weather, right? So now we're getting prepared. We can go out and do some hikes. But on the plus side, uh, the community element has Brilliant. been great. Still, yeah. we went for dinner with Vicky and Dave, a lovely couple, literally about thirty yards that way. Um, on Monday night, we've got another um, supper with family on um, Thursday night. The retreat was absolutely amazing yeah. over the course of the weekend. Completely fascinating. Um, we learned so much. We learned so much. So we are starting to settle into community life here. We've got um, another week and a bit left. Um, and of course, as always, we're trying to juggle the next bit or organise the next bit of the trip, um, talking to communities in Arizona. Um, and this morning I had a really cool conversation with my sister, um, who is going to be coming out here um, at the beginning of April and we are kind of putting a stake in the ground for um, basically a holiday with them which is going to be absolutely amazing because whilst it probably looks to you guys like we're on holiday all the time it doesn't feel like that to us particularly with me uh, working pretty hard on editing Katie homeschooling um, so to have that thing to look forward to with family where we are actually going to take a break and do something cool all together is going to be really yeah, exciting. Yeah, really excited for that. Um, the other thing about here... Um, can you stop? The kids are throwing stuff. Um, it wasn't me, it was Indy. The other stuff... Take that. That you, well, no. Just, well, they're just going to throw it back down. That's a bit of a silly thing to do. The other thing... What are you doing? Go on, you come No, this is... Look, look at you. <laughs> the other thing, what? Um, all the communal areas here are kind of based out. Whoa! It's like all the communal areas here. Oh my god! People always ask me how do you need to cope with it. I don't. I still don't. If any tips on how to cope with it, would be brilliant because it's you so. Can cope with it. I can cope with it. Thanks, geeks. Um, anyway, the, what I was saying is the communal areas here are still, um, well, they're all out, they're all basically outside. So this morning I had to like, they didn't want to leave because it was freezing cold. So I was running like 100 meters that way, making porridge, bringing it back. Someone wanted jam, running back, getting it, done it. Oh, that was really stressful. I didn't like that very much. No. But it's because, and I want, but we can't. Girls, oh shush, shush, shush. Tabba Indy, annoying. are you doing what we told you to do, which is not make a squeak? Tabba and Indy, get off each that. other. Get off each other. No, no. Shush, shush. Okay. Stop it. Right, let's, let's say goodbye. Okay, bye. Okay. Do you girls want to come and say goodbye? We're going. Yeah. Come on, quick, quick, quick. We're going to, bye bye. Quick. We're going to try and go to San Diego tomorrow, I yeah? Say bye bye. San Diego, to, yeah, maybe. San Diego come on, tomorrow? down. Quick, quick. Come back, come sit here. Kiki, Indy, come on, quick, quick, quick. Down you come. You. We'll say bye bye and see you next week. Bye bye, see you next week. Did I say shout it? Yes. Anyway, okay, let's go.